All right, let's talk a little bit more about exponentials and logarithmic functions. Um, kind of the goal today is you're going to evaluate some logs, rewrite them. If it's an exponential, you can write it in log or vice versa. I'm probably going to be going through this fairly quickly, so feel free to hit pause from time to time. All right, this first thing that I have right here is going to be super important. The definition of a log with base b. So log base b of y equals x can be rewritten as b to the x equals y. Your base of the logarithm is the same as the base of your exponential. x, what it equals for the log, is your exponent and y what you're taking the log of is going to equal y make sure you read those com correctly uh, these are inverses of each other they undo each other so like if i were going to just start off with a really basic example we know that 5 squared is 25. So in this example, 5 is my base, so that's my b. x would be 2 because that's my exponent. And y would be 25 because that's what it equals. And I can rewrite it as a log. So log, and it's still going to be the same base, 5 and it's of 25 equals 2. And that's exactly how you would write it. So these two things mean exactly the same thing. Um, it's just kind of like how addition can be rewritten as a subtraction problem. Exponentials can be rewritten as a log pr problem or vice versa. Um, you need to have that memorized. Make that your friend. So, here, I want to rewrite this. Um, on that one, probably should be equally, equally in something, so we're going to make it equal y. So, 3 to the y equals 81. Make this one equal some other letter. 3 to the A equals 3. And we can actually simplify those down even further because as I look at this, I realize 81 can be rewritten as 3 to the fourth. So 3 to the Y. And you can choose whatever variable you like, equals 3 to the 4th. And we've done some problems like that already. If the bases are the same, the exponents are the same. So in this case, that is 4. So log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Well, my exponent here is 1, even though it's not written. So my A is 1. So log base 3 of 3 is 1. Your calculator has two ways to do log. The first one is the common log, and that is where your base is 10. And usually you just write log. If you don't see a base written right here, little subscript, it's understood to be 10. So on this one, if you have natural log, that just means your base is the number E. And that is going to be written as LN, natural log. So let's see if my calculator 
we'll do that. Let's evaluate a couple of them. I think I want a scientific one for this. And I want to do log six. In some calculators, you put the six in and then the log. In some of them, you do it other ways. So on this one, I just found out you need to put the six in first and then the log. And I'm going to get. Usually we're going to go out to four decimal places, so 0 0.7782. All right, let's go ahead and try the natural log of one third. I'm going to clear that out. I'm going to do one third first. And again, it really depends on your calculator. And then I'm going to do the natural log of that. And I'm going to get a negative right now. Negative 1.0986. All right. And a lot of times people are like, well, how do I do base 4, base 5, base 6? We're going to show you some tricks on how to do that a little bit later. Um, we're not quite there yet. There are a few calculators out there that you can change the base, but really 95% of them only do two type, the common log, which is base 10, and the natural log, which is base E. All right. I think we've done a little of this already. We want to write as an exponential. Three to the 2, the base, to the exponent, it's going to equal 9. I always kind of like these because you can kind of verify in your mind that you're right, and you're like, yeah, 3 squared is 9. And write this as a log. Always start by writing the word log. And you want to make sure that you do it as a subscript, a little bit lower and smaller of 6, so log base 6 of 36 equals 2. On this one, they're just trying to get you to realize that if you've got a base and a log with the same base, they cancel each other out. And that's going to become important when we uh, start solving them. So that answer is x. Here, I have a log base 3 and an exponent with a base of 3. They're going to cancel each other out because they're really inverses of each other. And that is going to be 2x. All right, you've got an assignment right now. I'm going to maybe pull that up and talk about a couple of those problems as well. So it should be under modules. 3.5 practice. So on number one, you're just going to rewrite those in exponential form. So like on number one, it would be two to the third power equals 8. On number 4, that would be log base 4 of 16 equals 2. On number 7, you are going to have to do a little bit of evaluating. That's kind of what we did at the very beginning. So we've got, let me change the colors here real quick. We have log base 2 of 16. I'm just going to set that equal to some variable. Then rewrite it. 2 to the x equals 16. Well, 16 can be rewritten as 2 to the 4th. We now have the same base. So x equals 4.
Uh, 10 through 12, don't overthink those. And then 13 through 24, you're going to be doing a little bit of solving. Again, don't overthink those. Let's go ahead and do number 13 together. A lot of times, if they have it written in log, you're going to be rewriting it, writing it as an exponential or vice versa. So in this case, my base is 3. I'm going to have 3 to the 6 equals x. That just becomes calculator work. You can figure out what 3 to the 6 is. All right, you are doing all of these problems. Good luck.